morning. All right, Michael. Listen, before you start your slug, I've got a favour to ask. All right. No, no, no. If you find the buyer for this little beaut, I'll see you all right. You sell any wheels? You skins or something? Me? No, 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 no. Flash as ever. Just time for a change, that's all. Well, I'll have a look around. See what I can do. <sighs> Cheers. Tell you what. I mind buying it yourself, you know. But difficult when you're skint, don't it? Oh, cheer up. You don't need to press your passengers. <sighs> You'd have a face on your own if your partner was leaving you in the lurch. Eh? Hey? Terry is chucking the cabs in. I mean, I've known about it for a while, but I just don't know what to do about it. It's funny, isn't it? It was me that wanted to pack in the cab in the first place. To find a new partner? Ah, oh, Terry's me mate. I knew where I stood with him. And knowing my luck, I learned it was some right divvy for a partner. Still don't see what your problem is. <laughs> well, in case you hadn't noticed, I've been running around trying to look after me home, me kids, me job, and I'm doing two shifts. I reckon it's become a problem, don't you? Now, what I need is a nice, steady nine-to-five job. Well, lucky for you, then, you've got me and the doting grandparents <laughs> to help you out. But don't be scared of them. I mean, I know they're overpowering, but it's been really useful having Ben and Rachel here. And besides, they've been helping the kids forget that their mum's not here. Or reminding them how much they miss them, Mum. What are you talking about? Do you want toasted cereal? No, I'm not hungry. What do you want for your tea? Eh, it doesn't matter. Katie, will you come down here when I'm talking to you? What? Get down here. Oh, oh, you ready? I'll drop it off if you like, love. Eh, uh, no, you're all right, Dad. I've got to get my books together, yeah. Yeah? All right, love. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, Dad. OK. Go on, then. Why do you think Ben and Rachel are here? Maybe they're on the run from the law? No, I'm being serious. Well, they know as well as I do. They're on the way up to the Lake District for a holiday, and they thought they'd stop by and spend some time with their long-lost grandchildren. Oh, then do you believe them? Well, why shouldn't they? So why are they staying so long? Or why haven't they left to go on this so-called holiday? Because they haven't seen Leo and Gemma for ages, and they want to spend as much time with them as possible. Oh, no, no, no. I think they had no intention of going to the lakes. Oh, and uh, what makes you think this, then, Sherlock? I think Josie's behind all this. No, no, I reckon she sent for the kids and Ben and Rachel are here to take them back to her. You know what I think? What? I think you've got an overactive imagination. Hello, mate. All right, Ben. Hi, Rich. Hi. Uh, um, where's Rachel? Oh, she's going into town to cancel the lake's holiday. Well, there's no point now. We have to be back in Cardiff on Friday anyway. Ah, uh, Leo and Gemma at school. Yeah, I took them. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Ah, uh, do you think I can pick them up later? I'd like that. Well, uh, Leo was having tea at his mate uh, Carl's house. Well, I'll pick up Gemma then. After all, me and Rachel haven't got much time left in Liverpool and we want to see as much of the children as possible. At least usually picks them up, you know. Do you mind if I collect Gemma? Oh, no, no, no. If Mick's sure it's all right. Yeah, well, fight it out amongst yourselves. Thanks, Alice. I don't know what time I'll be back. You leave Gemma to me, Mick. She's in safe hands. You give me a night off. <laughs> I never realised looking after the kids could be so tiring. Yeah, well, imagine doing that and doing two shifts. Yeah, it must be a terrible strain, working all the hours God sent you. And uh, bringing up two children at the same time. Yeah, well, we manage. I mean, uh, I've got a good backup system. Hmm. You could do with a break, Mick. You don't want to go making yourself ill now, by you? I can't afford to be ill, then. There's enough families out there getting the homes repossessed already. Yeah, it's just, um... Well, me and Rachel were wondering. We see so little of Leo and Gemma. And we haven't said a word to them about this, mind you. Not yet. But, um, well, we thought it'd be nice if we could take Leo and Gemma to Cardiff with us on Friday. It being half term. We don't want to keep pressuring you, but Rachel and I do miss seeing them. We'll bring them back the following Sunday. 
What do you think, Mick? Have you had breakfast yet? No, just coffee. I wasn't very hungry. Yeah. I think I'll just... Oh, no. Not again. How am I supposed to tell what's in these? Well, I needed the labels for this competition I'm entering. I think I've stand a good chance, actually. Do you want to hear my slogan? Go on. Our crash helmets are the best because our customers wouldn't be seen dead in them. <laughs> That's awful. I don't know why you bother. <laughs> what's first prize? Motorbike. A motorbike? <laughs> Who do you think you are, Marlon Brando? Well, if we win it, we can sell it and make some money. We're not that short of money. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you bother going in for competitions for prizes you don't want. Well, that gives me a kick. It also takes my mind off everyday troubles like people coming to take our furniture away. Well, at least we got it back, even though it did cost us. And the way things are going, it looks as though our savings are going to be dwindling even further. What do you mean? I didn't know how to tell you. I wanted to wait, really, for the right moment. Well, what's happened? Please came this morning. Three more creditors demanding money off the company. They want £7,000. All right. Oh. Love of my life. What do you want? I've just come to get some more stuff for the Moby, if that's all right with you. Be my guest. As long as you don't speak to me while you're doing it, we should get on fine. All oh, right, Jack. It's a break, will you? Stock rooms through day. Don't even get a thank you, then? <laughs> what for? All the wasted years I spent money to you. I sent you flowers on Valentine's Day. I got you all that trouble and expense. And for what? Oh, so they were from you, were they? Yeah. Well, who else do you think they'd be from, eh? I do have one or two other admirers. Oh, yeah. Like Frank Rogers. Oh, don't get jealous. OK, all right, I'll admit it. I am jealous. But you've been dead chatty with them lately, haven't you? It's not my fault if men find me attractive. Look, I still find you attractive, Jack. Very attractive. Join the queue, then, mate. Uh, like I said, the stock room's through there. Yes, love. Yeah, uh, just them. Hi, stranger. How you doing? Oh, all right, Mick. Uh, getting there. Hey, uh, is your new shop opening next door? And I saw some women coming out as I was passing. Hasn't he told you? Told me what? Yeah, I'm... He's opening a pizza parlour. I'm glad you decided against the chip shop. Pizza parlour? Yeah. yeah, I was going to tell you, but... Listen, have you got a minute? Yeah, all right. Thanks. See ya. Ciao. I was going to tell you, honest. How do you know what pizzas does? Not on the... Well, it's Barry's idea, and he says there's a big profit margin in pizzas. What do you think? I don't think anymore. To be honest with you, I've been drifting round in some sort of vacuum. One minute I'm happy as Larry, the next I'm down in the dumps. I hear of all places, Tess. This is where... Yeah, I know, it's Christian Daniel's guilt. What else can I do, Mick? I've got nowhere else to go. Round here is all I know. Anyway, I'm sure you'll make a go of it. No way, not. Listen, I better get back. Mick, back at MK, the solicitor's been in touch with me. What for? Well, he sent me this. It's a letter. Graham must have wrote it. Well, he must have wrote it before he was found with his throat cut. And in it, he says that he loves Sue and he wouldn't dream of harming her. Give it here. That's what we do with garbage, Tez. Give us it. Look, bin it, Tez. It's poison, that. What if he didn't kill her? Why are you bringing all this up for again? The man was found guilty. That's the end of it. No, no, look, you answer me this, right? Why would the man who's facing a life sentence tell me that he loved me wife? Because he's sick, that's why. He must have been off his head with guilt. Oh, I don't know what's all doing me head in. Well, don't you think he did it? I don't know what to think anymore. I just get this gut feeling that something isn't right. At first, I was like you. I wanted to rip it into a million pieces, but something stopped me. It was the way he'd written this letter. I kept going over it and over it, trying to suss out what was inside the guy's head. But now I'm just even more confused. Been it, Tess. Graham Curtis was guilty. You know it, really. I wish I did. Because then I might be able to get my life back in order. These people... 
These creditors, they're asking us for £7,000 between them. We just can't keep on paying out all the time, John. We'll have nothing left to give them soon. There must be some rational explanation for all this, love. We'll sort it out when we see you. You'll know what's going on. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you with all the worry. Peter phoned late last night. He's coming home from Oxford this afternoon. He was wondering if the old man would pick him up off the coach. <sighs> the only time he ever asks for me when he wants something. You wouldn't begrudge your only son a lift now, would you? After all, he is minding the house for us while we're in Malaga. I'll pick him up, all right. You never know, he might surprise me and tell me he's got a job. Oh, I don't think he's quite ready for work yet. <laughs> what a waste of an education. A degree in chemistry at Oxford, and what does he do with it? Signs his life away in a dull for a gyro twice a month. So much for the top 2% or whatever it is these days. Be nice to him, John. I'll try. As long as he smokes in the garden and keeps his communist views to himself, we'll get on famously. I wonder if he knows anything about Hugh. How would Peter know anything about our company? Well, he's been over to Spain often enough to visit him, hasn't he? He's been over there recently. <laughs> So you think he would discuss business with Peter? He hardly ever discussed it with me, and I was his partner. Well, you never know what he might have heard while he was out there. Mm. He might be able to throw some light on the situation before we leave for Spain. If you're so cold, you want to get everyone to put some heat on in here? Should have clocked off ten minutes ago. I tell you, as soon as Dee Dee shows her face, I'm off. So as from now, I'm what you might call officially off duty. Even if Mel Gibson walked in, I wouldn't see him. So, uh, not down for me, then. All right, then, go on. Just for you. That's uh, one ninety nine, please, love. You're still going to the 60s, do? Down will lead you, Friday. Try stopping me. I've already dusted the cobwebs off my old winkle pickers and uh, drainies. Hey, can you do the swim? What, the old 60s dance? I wasn't very good at that the first time round. Not that I remember how it's done like. Eh, uh, goes something like this, doesn't it? Well, you won't catch me doing that. You look mad. I'd probably drown anyway. <laughs> You're right. I think I'll just stick to the twist. It's easier. Do you like chicken? Why? Only there's a delicious recipe in this magazine I've been reading. You can use either chicken breast or legs. Are you a breast or a leg man, Frank? Well, I eat what I'm given, really. Sammy does most of the cooking. Oh, I see. I've got the stuff for the Moby. Hey, uh... Won't be long before you're seeing Jackie and Sean and slippers, Frank. Knitting baby grows behind the counter. Hey, Haven't you told him, Jack? Jimmy. She's only going to be a grandma. Nan Corkill. See ya. Keep calling me. Oh, what's up? Ben hasn't come back yet, but Gemma. What? She should have been back ages ago. I rang the school and Mrs. Williams, a class teacher, said she was picked up over an hour ago. Ben's taken them somewhere. But he'd have asked me first. What if they had an accident? No, no, maybe you should phone Carl first to see if Leo's there. Just to check, you know? You think he's taking them to Josie, don't you? Phone him, please. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, this is the. We've had a great afternoon. Haven't we, Gemma? Where have you what? been? Well, I took Gemma down the Albert Docks and the shops. I didn't think you'd mind. Mind? You should have asked me first. But you said you'd be home late. I wasn't expecting you back so early, Mick. No, well, I haven't been all that busy today. Look, I'd better be going. I've got things to do. All right, so see you tomorrow. Listen, something's come up. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tomorrow or Friday. Why? I've just got some business to do. I can't get out of it. I'm sorry. So who am I going to get to look after the kids at a short notice? You must and Simba are tied up on the market stall. Me and Rachel will be only too happy to look after them and pick them up from school, Nick. Well, I thought you were going back to Cardiff on Friday. Well, not till the evening. Well, if it's uh, not too much trouble, it'll be a pleasure. Well, that's that sorted out, then. I'll see you. Yeah, that's And don't forget to ask about a bar for me, Carl. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Cheers, mate. See Bye. You.
Hello, Katie. Hey, Mr. Harrison. I've come to pick up my son, Peter, but he hasn't arrived. I should have guessed, really. He's alone to himself, that boy. Are you going somewhere? I'm here. Uh, I'm just visiting my mum's. That's why I'm not in school. Is everything all right? Are you sure? Nothing I can do. It's not boyfriend trouble, is it? <laughs> Does your dad know you're here? Look, whatever it is, love, I'm, I'm sure your dad will help sort it out. Let me take you out. I don't want to go. I ran away from home once, you know. I was a bit younger than you. I packed my cricket bat, a couple of Beano comics, a handful of dinky toys, and I got as far as the bus stop, got hungry and went home. I thought, I'll run away tomorrow instead. A real daredevil I was. It seems funny now, but I was deadly serious at the time. Why did you run away? Me and my brother Hugh, we used to fight all the time. Like cat and dog we were. Only I always seemed to come off worse. It was only me that got smacked and sent to bed early. You see, I thought my mum loved Hugh more than she loved me. What did your mum say when you got back? Well, she never knew I'd gone. And your dad never need know either. It'd be our secret. So what do you say? Can I take you home? All right. Oh, oh you nearly frightened the life out of me then, you divvy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Give it a lift, don't I? In that thing. And what do my neighbours say? They'll say, hasn't she done well for herself, eh? Nice looking bloke and his own mobile shop. You reckon? Wait, so. Do I get the bus? Hey. You know you still got that wiggle when you walk. You can get some for sexual harassment. Anyway, not that type of girl. Are you a breast or a leg man? Can you still do the swim, Frank? Couldn't you do better than that, eh? I admit it. I got you good style in there before. Should have seen your face when I told Frank Rogers you were going to be a grandma. She blamed me. I have me image to think of. Oh, well, have you now? Listen, glamorous grannies shouldn't be worried about their image, sweetheart. Don't be too smug. I'll get you back. All right. How? I'd be telling, wouldn't I? Hey, listen, never mind Frank Rogers. I can still do the swim, you know. Divvy, you'll never change you. You're as soft as ever. Still make you laugh, though, can't I, eh? Hey, hey? Maybe. But only when you say something funny. You know, like a joke. Oh, yeah. Listen, you don't fool me, girl. I've still got what it takes, I'm telling you. <laughs> How about taking me back, then? Change the record, will you? Oh, come on. We're good together. We are. You know that. Come on, admit it. When was the last time you had a really good laugh? Hey, when was it? The first time I ever saw you in that thing. <laughs> Take me back, Jackie. What about our young Jimmy? Well, what about him? Um, he only happens to be our son. Our son who can't stand the sight of you. And who'd move out if you walked an inch over my threshold. It's nothing to do with him if we get back together or not. You what? And how do you think he felt when he saw his dad making out with his auntie Valley? Not only that, but he's kept it to himself all these years without telling anyone. He must have really done his head in. It's about time you started to think what you want for a change, Jackie. Cos I'll tell you this, I bet our Jimmy won't give you a second thought when he leaves home. Do you know that, hmm? Your future's with me now, Jackie. Or do you want to end up bitter, twisted and lonely? And old. Sam, is that you? Starts at two, love. Hello, love. Hey, sorry I'm late, Dad. I've been to the library. Yeah, yeah. No problem. You all right? Yeah, fine. Listen, um, I've been thinking. I know you've been having a 
a lot of trouble at school lately. You know that Billy Duncan lad? So, I was thinking, I would like to spend the weekend with your mum. Oh, that would be great, Dad. If that's settled, then, I'll take you over there Friday, OK? Yeah, brilliant. Hey, why don't we go upstairs right now and pack your bag? So, have you made your decision? What about? About me and Rachel taking the children to Cardiff this weekend. I can't let you take them down to Wales, Ben. Why not? Well, how do I know you're not going to take them straight to Josie, eh? What? Well, you come here claiming... We have never, ever intended taking Leo and Gemma to Josie. But how do I know? I have never agreed with what she's done. It hurts me every time to think how my daughter just simply abandoned those poor children. Look, Ben. I'm sorry I thought you were going to take them to Josie. I just had to be sure, that's all. So you let them come to us, then? I'm sorry, Ben. Mick. Look, it's not that long since the mother left. I want to give them some security. Like you said yourself, some stability. And anyway, Cardiff will remind them of Josie. And I don't want to upset them anymore. They've been through enough already. Look, Ben. As soon as I get myself properly sorted, I'll bring them down to see you. When will that be? Next week? Next month? Next year? When, Mick? And meanwhile, we carry on waiting? Well, I'm not prepared to wait any longer. Grandparents must have rights too, you know. Ben! Ben! Fisher fears for his relationship with Bobby in Home and Away after the break. Checked everything's been turned off. Checked and double checked. Have you locked all the doors and windows? I don't want to come home and find the place has been ransacked. It's like Fort Knox in here, love. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Passports, tickets, travel sickness. Have you got your inhalers? First thing I thought of. I'm bound to remember something when we're on the plane. It'll be too late then. I'm sure they have shops in Spain. <laughs> I really need this holiday, you know. Especially after all we've been through recently. Well, that reminds me. I tried to ring Hugh again this morning. And? No answer. How strange. Oh, well, that's it, then. We'll just have to see for ourselves when we get there, won't we? Perhaps we should pack a tent. <laughs> oh, and if I got... Phrase book. Why don't you look up the Spanish for you owe us three and a half thousand pounds? Now, Barbara, I'll deal with you. I know how to handle my own brother. Oh, really? <laughs> Up there, eh? Hey, you lost Scram! Kids, you looked as if you had a bit of a fan yourself the other day, that young girl. A bit young for me, though. <laughs> Thanks, love. Ta. See you, Jack. Yeah, ta. No work today? Yeah, no. I'm on my own. I was out some time off, like, you know. You get good holidays in the police force, don't you? 
days off here, there and everywhere. You never seem to be in. Yeah, well, let's just say it's one of the perks of the job, you know. All right, Rod. Not working again today, mate? Yeah, no. No, I'm not. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should put, like, a, an ad in the paper, you know, like a large double-page spread saying Rod's on his holidays. Maybe that way people will stop asking me, you know. What if it's hurt now? Worry after Jimmy. Um. Listen, Jack, I need to, uh, talk. What about? What happened between me and, you know, your Val? I want to explain. You already have explained. I do know the facts of life, Jimmy. I know exactly what happens when two people sleep together. Look. Will you stop fiddling with those for a sec? Listen, I know we've been through all this before, but it was a mistake. In all the years we were married, that was the only time I ever went off the rails, honest. Congratulations. You're not giving me a chance, are you? Look, it's not just what you and our Val got up to that gets me. It's our Jimmy. That poor lad must have gone through hell these last ten years. Imagine what it felt like seeing his dad rolling round with his auntie. I know. But I can't turn back the clock. It's done now. Anyway, I've known all along about you and our Val. You what? She told me. She told you? But you never... All these years and you never said. And give you the satisfaction to know how much it hurt me. Anyway. She didn't rate you very much. How do you mean? Out of ten, you scraped her for. It would have been less, but fractions were never a strong point. <sighs> oh, well, thanks very much. At least I've improved, eh? Why is it you can always make me laugh? <laughs> Even when I'm angry with you? <laughs> Take me back, Jack. I don't know anything anymore. What are you so scared of? <sighs> I just don't want to go and make the same mistake twice now, do I? But you won't, will you? Look, I've changed. I've got a steady job, but a legit money in me pocket. I've gone straight now. Look, I've had a taste of the wrong side of the law and I can't hack it anymore. I couldn't survive a police cell now. What more could you want? Yeah, what more could I want? If you don't say yes, I'm going to walk out that door and I swear, Jackie, you'll never see me again. Don't tempt me. I mean it. I'm a fool to myself, but let's give it another go. Going away? Oh, yeah. We're off to the Costa del Sol. Oh, that's nice. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks a lot. Oh, Rod. Yeah? I just want to apologise for that fiasco last week when those men came to take the furniture away. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have got you involved. Yeah, well, let's just forget about it. Did you manage to get your furniture back, like? Oh, yeah, it's all been cleared up. It was just a silly misunderstanding. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I've seen you, actually. Can you do us a favour? Yeah? Could you look after our front door key for us while we're away? It's just that my son was supposed to be coming up from Oxford, but... Uh... No problem. Thanks a lot. I'll leave a note in the letterbox for him, you know. Let him know it's there. What, are you going to leave a note? Yeah. Well, you might as well paint a large sign outside the house saying, gone away for the week, burglars welcome, you know? Oh, yeah. I'll take your point. <laughs> or perhaps you could just keep an eye out for him, yeah? Yeah, will do. Well, best be off. Don't want to miss the flight. Yeah. Hasta la vista and all that, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. Hey, have a nice time. Thanks a lot. Nah, no. Bye bye. Hello, Mick. Nah, I just dropped that cage off at her mum's. She's 
spend the weekend there, driving her around the bend instead of me. Yeah, I know the feeling. My kids are staying with their grandparents today. I'm lucky today. I'd be stuck without them. Yeah. So, got anything planned for the weekend now that you're a free man? Eh, uh, I might go out tonight. There's uh, a 60s revival dance down the Legion. Going on your own, are you? Not exactly, no. Come on, mate. You can tell me if you've got a date. Well, it's not a date, really. Go on, admit it. It's with Julia Brogan, isn't it? I'll behave yourself. Anyway, I've got her down for you. Eh, uh, if I tell you, will you keep it to yourself? Frank, you know me, mate. Soul at discretion. It's, eh, uh, Jackie. Jackie Dixon, behave. She's not 18 yet. No, Jackie Cork, he'll soft lad. Ah, the one who works in the Ron Dicko shop. Yeah, that's her. I'm not sure where to go. Why not? I hardly know her. I'm not sure whether she's my type. I mean, we share the same interests, you know, music, and she's a good laugh and that, but not in any. So what? No one's asking you to marry the girl. It's only a bit of fun. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> so why'd you ask her out in the first place then? Yeah, it didn't. She asked me. Yeah. Have to let me in on your secret, lad. It just came right out, would it? So, eh, uh, do you reckon I should go then? Yeah, why not? Nothing to lose. Both foot loose and fancy free. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right, Mick. Hey, I might just surprise her. Go and pick her up the shop when she finishes. Hey, I bet you anything you have agreed to. Have. See you later, please. Yeah. Right, pair will you make, don't we? Stop worrying, will you? It'll work out this time. Hey, listen. So I'll bring all my stuff around to your place again next week, then I will. Yeah, fine. Great, great. Hey, this calls for a celebration, kid. Oh, what did you have in mind? Oh, well, you know, I thought, uh, nice romantic restaurant, uh, you know, a bit of Italian, bottle of the Al Chianti to wash it down with, and uh, for afters, well, who knows what's for afters. Now, I was thinking more along the lines of good beer, excise music. And twist in the nicer way. Great, I'll go along with that. Right, the Legion it is then. The Legion? Yeah, 60s revival, night to night. Oh, I wanted to go, but I had no one to go with till now. No, yeah, okay, all right then. I'll pick it up at yours, okay? No, come here, cos I'm working late. Okie okay, doke, you've got a date? <sighs> Could do with having me here done. Maybe Ron will give me an hour off to pop next door. Yeah, give yourself, will you? Yeah, you look lovely. Mm. Charming. Yeah. I am, aren't I? I'll see you later, OK? Yeah, see you. Oh, and, um, don't worry about me sister, Val. I'll forget about what happened. I know you'd understand, kid. As long as you'll forget about me and your brother, Frankie. You what? Cigarettes for Peter. Why we should encourage such a disgusting habit. Why bother? He might not even turn up to look after the house. Well, if he doesn't, they'll do for his birthday or Christmas. And another thing, keep your eyes off the air hostesses. For me? I've had my eyes glued on my crossword book the whole flight. I just don't want to believe that. <laughs> not really, no. Oh, how are you, Dad? You're home early. Hi, love. Yeah, I've got some time off to take our Katie to your mum's. Oh, once with the shave, are you going somewhere? Yeah, I might be going out after this uh, bit of a do down the leasing. Oh, who are you going with? I just some woman I know. A woman? It's not what you're thinking. She's just a mate, that's all. I don't believe it. My dad's got a date. Let's face it, Sam. Your mum's not coming back. I've got to start again, make a new life for myself. Yeah, I know. So, um, what's she like then, this uh, mate of yours? Mind your own business. Um, I hope she's not a young, innocent 18-year-old. I mean, you know I don't agree with older men going out with teenagers. That's enough of that, thank you. Oh, yeah, and uh, another thing. I want you back in for 11.30 tonight. And if you're so much as half an hour late, you're grounded. What? The dance will only be getting started by then. Uh, I don't care. I mean, you're going out with some strange woman I haven't even met before, and you expect me to let you stay out till all hours of the night? No chance. I want you in by 11.30 and no later. Oh, and uh, don't bother sneaking in, because I will be waiting up for you. Now I know how you used to feel. Hey, did I really go on like that? Eh, uh, worse, and you still do to what, poor Casey? I'm not sure whether I should go, you know. Oh, go on. I mean, you might as well. I mean, what are you going to do, stuck in here all night, watch the telly? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I think I'm 
I'm going to get myself some duty-free perfume. Splash out of it. That's it. Never you treat yourself. I hope it's scorching hot when we get to Spain. Leave all this grey drabness behind. We could have a dip in the Mediterranean. Then we'll have dinner. Gaspacho, followed by paella, and a nice glass of sangria. Heaven. Mm -hmm. And you know what the best bit about all this is? What? Not a single school uniform in sight. <laughs> Eight across, ten letters. Partner in crime. Accomplice. Of course it is. You should have taken off by now. I wonder what's keeping them. Well, they probably discovered some big drugs bust or something. You've been watching too many American films. <laughs> drugs bust. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, please make himself known to a member of the cabin crew. Thank you. I wonder what they want. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm coming too. No, no, no. You stay here. I'm getting yourself all dolled up for tonight, haven't I? <laughs> Going down the lead. Yeah, I know. How do you? Yeah, Frank told me. Yeah, see. Right. Oh, listen, um, don't worry, like, your secret's uh, safe with me, so uh, just go and enjoy yourself and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya. Yeah. Chili yeah. turns out quite well. Might make that for Trevor and Joan on Monday night. Why, what's happening Monday? We've invited Owen's mum and dad round for the tea. What for? Well, because they haven't been here since the wedding and I haven't seen them for ages. Anyway, eat up and don't spill any down your shirt. Yes, mum. Well, we don't want this uh, mate of yours thinking we don't look after you, here. Anyway, you're ready early, aren't you? Yeah, I thought I'd put my suits on. I thought it might get me in a mood, you know. But it hasn't. I'm still not sure where to go, you know. I might just go down so I have a few pints. Oh, don't be soft. You can't do that. Anyway, you can't stand your date up. Hey, listen to me date, eh? And don't forget what I told you, 11.30 or else. <sighs> okay. You're home early. I was only staying today. Some tea there for you, son, if you're hungry. Eh, no, thanks, Mr. Rogers. I've already eaten. Hey, I've told you. Call me Frank. I've eaten, thanks, Frank. Everything OK? I'll tell you later. Do me to go? No, no, you're all right, Dad. We'll go in the other room, eh? Oh, look, I might as well tell you. You're going to find out soon enough. I've been made redundant. Redundant? But you've been working so hard. Why would they do this to you? To close the cafe. It's not just me. Everyone's at the boot. They've gone bust. Are you getting redundant, you pay? Haven't been there long enough, have I? Oh. I'm sorry, Owen. I know how you feel, you know. I've been through it all myself. Look, if there's anything I can do, you know, try and help you find someone to work. And listen, you know you and Sammy, you'll always have a home here. I know, it's really kind of you. I don't know. Why do these things always happen when there's a little one on the way? <sighs> what on earth's going on? You've been talking to that man for ages. You've got to get off. Just do it, Barbara. John, I'm not getting off this plane until you tell me what's going on. We won't be going to Malaga. In fact, we won't be going anywhere. We're being detained, so we can't leave the country. Detained? What on earth? They want to question us about the company. Who do? Who do? The Customs and Excise. Customs? Let's just get off the aircraft. What do they think we've done? From what I can gather, it's being alleged that we've defrauded on our VA day payments. You're gonna 
to open an account with us the time she's coming here. Well, someone forgot fresh milk, didn't he? Anyway, where are you off to, then? You look really nice. Hotel. Sixties nice at the Legion. You want to get yourself down there? Take Diana? No, not my style. Having a night in with Diana, you know. Watch a couple of videos and that. Do you know, I don't know what's the matter with young people. When I was your age, you couldn't keep me in for five minutes. Well, that's because they didn't have, like, colour tellies and videos then, did they? She? It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> oh, are you, Frankie? Just in time. I was just about to close up. Good timing, eh? <laughs> so, uh, what can I do for you? All right, love. Uh, ready for the off then, are you, Robert? Yeah, in a sec. I'm just saving Frank. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. What do you think, eh? Hey? You'll do. Hey, at least I've made the effort. When are you getting changed, then, eh? I'm warning you. He really knows how to flash a gill, doesn't he? Hey, I like the suit, Frank. I like the suit. You have somewhere nice, then? He's going down the Legion. Oh, nice one, so are we. That's where we're going, eh? We'll see you down there later on, eh? Are you taking Jackie, then? Yeah. Lucky, isn't she, eh? So are you two back together, then? That depends on how much he spends on me down at the Legion. Right money grabber, this one, Frank, I'm telling you. So, um, what did you want, Frank? Uh, uh just a pack of mince, please. Right. So we see you down the Legion, then? Uh, no, uh, I don't think I'll bother. I'm not really into revival nights. Just a load of ageing mods, reminiscing about the good old days. And my style, really. I'll, uh, I'll see you. Yeah, see ya. Charlotte. Hey, your dad was looking pretty smart tonight. Yeah, he was taking out some woman he knows. He's been dead cagey about it, wouldn't tell me who she was. Does it bother you? Well, it does a bit, but there's no point in me saying anything, is there? It's hard enough for us all living together without arguing over some woman my dad's taken out. Now, I suppose it's gonna happen sooner or later. She's probably doing the tango with her right now. <laughs> Standing all over her feet, more like. Spilling halo down the front of a frock because he's dead nervous with her. Oh, as long as he's enjoying himself. Oh, the dark horse. He must have got a Valentine card off this woman he was seeing. A woman, I'll have to see what she's written. To my darling, Owen. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, I forgot to tell you about that. Came last Friday. I haven't got a clue. It's off. Must have been your Katie messing around. What? Look, I am telling you the truth, Sammy. All right, Mick. All right, Miss. Just finished your shift, have you? Yeah, I'm a bit late. Had to take this couple to Manchester and back. Couldn't say no, though, especially as they gave me a hefty tip. Nice one. I just got to go to Ben and Rachel to look after my kids for me. Yeah. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be twisting the night away with Jackie Corkill? Nah, didn't bother in the end. Why? Chicken out? Hey, I didn't want to go in the first place. It was just something to do. I knew now Sammy were pushing me into going. <laughs> but when I thought about it, and my style, really, revival nights, boring. And Jackie Kirkle, she's not my style either. <laughs> I thought you'd have been well into that 60s music, you. I am, yeah, but uh, just didn't want to go. I still think you should have gone, you know. Hey, I've got me reputation to think of, you know. I mean, I don't want to be seen knocking on with a grandma, do I? What, even though you're going to be a granddad yourself soon? <laughs> that is different, <laughs> my mate. <laughs> That's funny. There's no lights on. Who's supposed to be in? Josie's parents are sitting with the kids. Car's not here. Where the alardi? There's no one here. Oh, no! No! There's no one here, Frank. Oh, I just didn't want you getting upset. Especially with you being pregnant. Oh, don't blame this on my condition. Oh, you're just being unreasonable. Unreasonable? a Valentine card written to my husband and I'm being unreasonable. Look, I've told you what's happened and that's it. If you don't believe me, Sammy, it's just your hard luck. Look, Owen, I know you might have had loads of girlfriends before we got married. I mean, could it have been off one of them? And did you send this um, mystery girl a Valentine card too, with hearts on it and little kisses inside? Well, tell me, Owen. I said tell me. Look, there's nothing to tell. 
Oh, believe what you want, because you sure don't believe anything I tell you. Yeah, well, I'll find out who it's off, and when I do... Oh, when you do, do us a favour, Sam. Let me know, because I'll brain whoever it was for causing me all this aggro. I'll put this in the bin, shall I? Dear Mick, we're sorry we didn't have time to talk to you. But we waited over three hours before we decided to leave. We can't seem to agree about the kids. So we've decided it would be in their interest and yours if we took them to Cardiff with us. Just until things are a bit more settled. Love, Ben and Rachel. I'll kill him. I swear to God, I'll kill him. Martin's desperately trying to save face and re-establish himself as the town's stud once again in Home and Away after the break. Kids back from their loving, caring grandparents. Aren't you taking an overnight back? I won't need one. I'm not staying overnight anyway. Are you sure? Uh, hey, I'm not going to wandering around the valleys. I'm just going to sort this out. All right, all right. I'm on your side, remember? Yeah, I know. Look, uh, I better get going. Hey, and you look after my car, or it'll be me coming to Cardiff after you. Hey, never mind your car. And just because I'm leaving that cab here doesn't mean I want you razzing round in it all the time. <laughs> Emergency's only, right? Right. See you later. Keith Floyd, been round while I've been on the loo, or what? Call me on handiwork, I'm afraid. Well, your mum and dad'll be impressed. I hope so. God, if that fella who ran the cafe had gone to this much trouble, he'd still have a business. He'd still have a job. Well, he didn't, did he? That's why I'm King Dolight. <laughs> Wonder what your mum will say when she finds out. I don't know, Brock Pepper. I don't know if she's not going to find out, is she? Well, I'm not going to tell them if that's what you think. They're your parents. Yeah, they are. I just don't think there's any point cracking on. You know what a flap on me mum is. Yeah. Anyway, I want to get myself sorted soon. Another job? Better job? Well, I hope so, but... Hey, no sweat. I'll get work soon. You'll see. It's not that easy, Owen. I mean, why keep secrets from your mum and dad? Anybody home? Hi, Dad. Hi, love. Brian, who's coming round? Owen's mum with the Queen, mum. I know, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, what are we having? A vegetable moussaka. Oh, great. The only thing is, there's no black pepper. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, you couldn't nip round the shops for us, could you? I mean, I'm about to get in the bath and Owen's still cooking. I right, love Owen just got in. Oh, go on. You've still got your coat on. Please. Oh, all right, then. Are you going to stand there gawping all day? Might do. Still. Your view's a lot nicer than mine. Oh, thanks very much. I've got work to do. Yeah, well, so have I, haven't I? I'm going to get all my furniture back to your place today. If that's all right by you. Yeah, if you behave yourself. Yeah. 
and our son doesn't decide to do his Pickford's impersonation again. You leave our Jimmy to me. I don't know, I'll be feeling like the Addison's next, moving all my stuff backwards and forwards. One well, no, who, yeah. Apparently, you left to go on holiday the other day. Suitcases packed the lot. Back again by tea time. Listen, there is something dodgy going on there, I'm telling you. I told you I saw the bailiffs around at their place the other day, didn't I? Mm. Hello. Oh, I, uh, pay pancakes. Yeah. Could I have a pack, please? Oh, of course, yeah. Hey, 35p, please. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking, but um, was there a problem the other day, you know, with your holiday and that uh, airport strike or something? Yes, I do mind you asking. Bye. Hi, Miss Ellison. Right, listen, I have got furniture to ship, so I'll catch you later on, OK? <laughs> yeah, sure. See you, Frank. Yeah, see ya. Uh, 72, please. Ta. All right. Um, the other night when you were all dolled up, good do, was it? Yeah, cracker. Where was it you went? Look, I've got a shoes that only is the pepper. Did you come round to take me out? No, I just come for black pepper. <laughs> Not now, last Friday. No, I just, you know. I'm sorry, Frank. I didn't realise. Don't be daft. What's there to be sorry about? You see, for better or probably worse, I'm having another go with Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Dan. I'm made up for you. What's the problem? For a lovely-looking fella like you, there is none. Yeah. Right. See ya. Ciao, Frank. Where you're going? You could have given me a heart attack. That wouldn't take much. Is Mick in? Nah. Where is he? Wales. He's going to see Kramer versus Kramer. And what are you doing in the camp? Shifts. Not that there's any of yours. Shifts. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm just keeping the cab ticking over while uh, Mick's in the land of the leaks. You haven't even got a license. You could lose him this camp. Well, you haven't got a marriage license. Who knows what you get up to with Marcia? Don't you bring Marcia into it, okay? And we don't get up to anything. And when we want a marriage licence, we'll get one, all right? Well, any time you want a cab, or you can afford one. So, there you have it, with the talk of the town. Right. People are gone on holiday for two and a half hours. The local VAT fraudster and his mall. I wish you wouldn't do that in the kitchen. It's unhygienic. Sorry. Me too. Being unhygienic is probably a violation of my bail terms. Bail? You. And the way we were told to surrender our passports as if we were drug smugglers or something. Well, just as bad to them, aren't we? Alleged embezzlers of Her Majesty's customs in exile. Why? How did it happen? Right under your nose. It was your business, too. Uh, my business. My brother. I never thought I'd look at the books. The business have sold off bit by bit. I was more concerned with making sure that everything was in working order. The money came in for the machinery, you sorted it out. I just countersigned the paperwork. I presumed he was paying the VAT. But he wasn't. And now we're liable for £70,000 worth of debt. I'm liable. No, we're liable. God, I don't understand VAT or how it works or anything. Well, it's fairly straightforward. We sold the machinery, we charged VAT for it at our end, but for whatever reason, the money never reached the VAT man. Whatever reason. I think the reason's pretty obvious. It's because your brother has taken us for the ride of our lives. We don't know that for sure. No, but what we do know is that your signature's on every cheque and every invoice. And he wasn't the one who was dragged off the aeroplane and arrested. It was you! I'd like you to drop your drawers. How long have you been there? About half a mile back. It's said. Yeah, well, I didn't want to be seeing an artist that way, did I? Why is it tongue this thing? Yeah, it must do, yeah. Hey, listen. Give us a lift, will you, then? Oh, I can't do that, mate. It might put me back on mine. I've got a wife to be to think of. Yeah, and I have got a wife I've just won back, and she doesn't want a clock for a fellow, does she? Come on, uh, please. Oh, all right. Yes. You ready, lift? Yeah, come on. Oh. Anyway, I thought you I could give you the biggie. Yeah, well, think again. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll soon have seen the last of this place, mate. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 
And the caretaking job and all. Come on, lift. <sighs> Ronnie Dixon let me run this full term now. Really? Really. So there's a flat and a caretaker's job up for grabs? Got it in one, Einstein. Some ones are going to be ready, love. Soon? I hope so. Or at least I'll lap his leg. Oh, Dad. Well, I'm a creature of habit, love. A working man needs his scram. Well, I wouldn't know anything about working men, would I, Mr Rogers? Owen. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm just jesting. Yeah, well, being unemployed is doing nothing for my sense of humour at the moment. Fair dues. What's your mum and dad said about it? Um, not much, really. No? Well, maybe we can cook up a few ideas over your famous moussaka. Well, actually, I'd rather you didn't. Hey? They don't know. What? I haven't told them. Owen, I've been out of work. It's, uh, it's not to be ashamed of this day and age. I just don't want to worry them. There'd be an argument. I mean, they weren't happy about me taking that job full-time in a cafe anyway. Well, you know what they were like? It was always college this and college that. You still shouldn't lie to your mum and dad. Well, it's not lying. Just missing out bits of the truth. And, well, we'd prefer if you didn't say anything either. Oh, so you want me to lie to his mum and dad? No, just, well, that's what it sounds like to me. Dad, please. This is our decision and, well, will you respect it? Respect? I suppose I'll have to, won't I? Come in, Joe. Thanks. I'm sorry I'm late. No bother. Hiya. Hello, love. How are you feeling? Oh, fine. Yeah. Let me take your coat. Thanks. Yeah. Ooh, something smells good. Your lad's cooking. He's been out all day. Oh, you shouldn't have wasted your time off on my account. Hiya, Mum. Where's me dad? Oh, he sends his apologies. It's work. Some job in Heswell's gone wrong. He's had to go over and sort it out. Oh, so he's not coming? No. Oh, well, don't worry. Me dad'll eat his share. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Oh, your table looks lovely. All Owen's handiwork. It's not just a pretty face, is you it? You don't have to tell me that, love. I mean, I don't know about waiting on people in a calf. You've only got to look at this lot and... Well, he's capable of running his own place, isn't he? I don't think so, ma'am. Don't be so modest. I'm right, aren't I, Frank? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anything's possible. Might even get our tea soon. making us dead nice teas. Okay. Yeah. Right, everybody, let's all go in. It's getting cold. Here's your ball back. We're oh, sorry. It's, it's turned out like this. Way. Say goodbye to the granddad and grandma. You're not taking them home, are you? Why do we have to go on, Dad? See, so you can't take them. Yeah, just watch me. You must talk, Mick. Oh, you're hitting me on, Dad. Sorry, sir. Mick, you can't do this. It's not right. You want to stay with Grandma, don't you, for a bit longer? They're going back to Liverpool, back home where they belong, with me. Please, Mick, I'm sorry we took them the way we did, but... But what? We... I've been going spare, wondering what the hell happened to them. Don't you realise what you've done to me? What do you think we are? We only want what's best for the kids. Same as you do. So what could be better than a loving father and a good home, eh? You suggest that you don't love them, Mick. You need the rest of the journey. And the kids haven't had their tea. At least come in for them. Keep warm. Please, Mick. Go on, Dad. 
Five minutes. Only you. Yeah, only me. Just getting a few bits in. Sardines? Oh, it hasn't taken him long, has it? Soon got you running around, getting his little treats in. Take it you've seen your dad, then. Yeah, I've seen him offloading his gear back into our house. That's right. What's right about it? No, Jimmy. What's wrong about it? Oh, everything. He's all wrong. But he'll let you down again, same as always, won't he? No, not this time. It's different. What, had a brain transplant, does he? No, I just know it's different. He's changed. What, into a, a pumpkin? No, for the better. Better than what? He's still eating sardines, isn't he? Oh. There you are. Stuff the sardines. Do you feel better now? Does that make everything hunky-dory again? Oh, it was all hunky-dory before he came back, wasn't it? Oh, God, we've been through this time and time again. I mean, why can't you just be pleased for me? Why can't you say, hey, Mum, I'm made up. I hope it all turns out for the best. I mean, don't you like me, Jimmy? Do you want me to be unhappy? No, that's exactly what I don't want, isn't it? Right, then just leave me to it. Oh, but why him? His name's Jimmy, the same as yours. And for all his faults, he's still around, he's still trying, and he still loves me. Mm, yeah, and you forgot he still makes me laugh. Look, son, I'm sorry you saw what you saw. No kid should have to be put through that. But, but your dad, Narval, I mean, it was a one nicer ten years ago. Maybe you can't stop persecuting yourself about it, but I can. I've got a chance here to get my life going again. To be with someone. And I'm taking it. Some chance. God, it must be awful to have so much hate in here that you can't forgive someone. Yeah, it is, yeah. We're well, just going to have to learn to live with it. No, no, I won't. No, not if he's coming back to stay. I'll do what you want. I'll leave you to it. I'll, I'll get off. It's up to you, son. Yeah, I'll go home and get my stuff together. Look, don't bother getting anything for my tea. I'll see you, Mum. Sandwich, Mick? Oh, thanks. Leo, why don't you take Gemma to your room to play while Grandad and I talk to your father? Worried about what? We love them too, you know. Worried about what? About their upbringing. God knows it must be hard for you, running a home and working your taxi. We just wanted to lift some of the burden. They're not a burden, they're my kids. And it must be a pretty awful feeling to know you've got to trust casual friends, window cleaners even, with their welfare. It's not like that. We've seen for ourselves, Mick. No one's saying it's easy. But that doesn't mean that you can walk in. I, I just... know, I know. I was sorry for causing you so much upset. But it was the spur of the moment, Mick. I'm glad you're here now. At least we, we got time to sort it out and make sure we all see eye to eye about this. And work out exactly what to do for the best. I know what's best. I want to finish this tea, get in my car, and drive my kids back to our home. Stay and talk first, son. You can't go yet, Mick. We promised them a day out at the castle tomorrow. It's not far. We can't let them down. Can we, lovely? You want to go to the castle, don't you? Mm. And see all those dragons and knights and princesses and peacocks? <laughs> There's a bed already made up, son. What are? I'm going to do some schoolwork. I don't want to get behind. Okay. What are we going to do, love? I think we should draw all the money out of the joint account. What? Why? Because if we end up implicated in some fraud case, we might find that our little nest egg gets nicked. You don't know that. Why take the risk? Especially as we're innocent. Because innocent people get found guilty. 
If they see we've drawn all the money out of the bank, they're definitely going to think there's something if he's been going on. And if we leave it in, we could end up with nothing. I'd rather have nothing and be a free man, thank you very much. It could be a fine old jail, you know. If they think I've spent it, I could get put away. So could I. I was a company director too, remember? Yes, I'm sorry. I just wish I had a clearer idea of what was going on. There's only one person who knows what's going on. Your bloody brother. We think. We think? We know! Your brother's taking us for a right pair of idiots. Can we just let the authorities decide that, please? While he lords it on the Costa del Crime. Barbara, please, he is my brother. And it's exactly that attitude that's got us into this mess. That's not fair. We could lose our house, I could lose my job, you could end up in strange ways, all because of Hugh and his creative accountancy. Yes? Poltox. Oh, go away. God, give me strength. Who was that? Nobody. You know, love, it could be just some sort of silly mix-up, an oversight or something. Yes, he's at the bullfight while we face the bull... If I could just get to speak to him. I've got a few choice words he's welcome to. If Peter actually turns up, he could get in touch with you for us. Some hope. Well, we've got to do something. Yes, but what? I haven't thought of actually going to prison. We haven't done anything. Why is this happening to us? Oh, I don't know, love. I really don't know. Hey, not bad for Greek either. Thanks. Mm. Any more for any more. No, thanks. Well, it was lovely. So, how's married life treating you? Oh, fine, thanks. I hope you're looking after mother and baby, young man. Of course I am. Well, we look after each other. Have you had any thoughts about finding a place of your own for when the baby comes? Oh, give us a chance, ma'am. Hey, it's up to you to start saving up. Well, it's up to the both of us. I know it's all equal for everything these days, but he's still a provider for you and that baby. There's only one of you can give birth. And when that happens, there's only one breadwinner. It's nature. Yeah, yeah, we know all that, man. Just so long as you do. Hey, still plenty left. You know it's your own. <laughs> I don't. My hips couldn't take it. Ah, I don't know about that. Hey, Sam, these purple things are lovely. All the jeans, Dad. I don't care what colour they are, they're dead nice. We'll save some room for your afters. There's gas out there. Gas ox and all. Oh, when you should be made redundant more often, mate. This is the gear. What did you say, Frank? Eh, uh, guess so. Yeah, I love it. Especially that Black Forest stuff. I mean about redundancy. That'll be the front door. When does... All right, Sam, it's coming out the cold, mate. Get your knife away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, something smells nice. What's for tea? Moussaka. Oh, what is it that smells good, then? <laughs> There you go, mate. Cheers, lad. Every little bit else when you're getting wet, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And I've got to keep Marcia in the uh, luxury she's become accustomed to. Oh, why are you, uh... Got it in one. Oh. You get married, mate? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Cheers, Frank. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah. I'm yeah. brought all that on. Well, uh, I don't have to get married or nothing, like, uh... Well, uh, you know, not that I've got anything against that, like, in this day and age or nothing. No. Uh, well, I'll leave you to your moussaka then, all right? See ya. I'll yeah. see you, mate. He's a case, isn't he? I believe we were talking about a case of redundancy. The cafe Owen was working in. Well, it went out of business. I mean, they all got finished up. Owen? What? Well... Well, it's not his fault. Could you just let him speak for himself, please, Sammy? Look, stop worrying, Mum. I can get work. What sort of work? I was uh, thinking of giving a few people a buzz for him. To do what? Well, whatever, loading and that. Do you want to load, Owen? I don't know. You just do what you can, don't you? Especially in this situation. Yeah, and, well, I'll carry on working longer than I was planning to. What sort of life will a pair of you have? No home of your own, a new baby relying on casual labour? Well, what else can we do, Mum? Sometimes you can't do it all on your own. Do not now. I'm sorry, Frank, I didn't mean it like that. Well, what did you mean, then? I mean you should be thinking longer term. If Owen's going to have any sort of career, he's going to need proper qualifications. Hang on a minute. Please, Frank, let me finish. And the only way to get them is to do what he would have done before all this. I can't afford to go back to college, ma'am. You can't afford not to. You've got the ability. Don't waste it on calf jobs. Don't worry about the money your father and I will help out, and I'm sure Frank could too. Hey? Well, me dad's doing what he can now. I know that. But surely you can see I'm making sense. It'll be best for everyone, especially that little baby. I mean, just think, what would... Just... Hang on there, girl. This is my house. 
my daughter, my grandchild, and I wouldn't mind a look in here. Dad. It's all right, Sam. And Owen's my son, and I want to see him better himself. Your son could have done what he wanted up till a couple of months ago. He could have had degrees coming out of his ears for all I care. He could have went to college till the year 2000. But unfortunately for his brain, his body got my daughter pregnant. And that means saying hello to the real world. Which means getting out and getting a job, earning a crust and getting on with your life just like I had to, right? I will wash you up. The time has come for Fisher to turn himself in in Home and Away next. Get some dinner before you meet your nan and granddad. In a year. Oh, your grandson, it's really nice. Why can't we eat at McDonald's? Uh, have a vote on it, couldn't we? So listen, hands up those who want to eat in this really nice hotel. What? Hands up those who want a Big Mac. Yes! Carried unanimously. Let's go. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Can I help you? Yeah, could do. Haven't got a cigarette I could borrow with you. Yeah, don't smoke, sorry. Don't be. Oh, that's weird. What is? No secret message. He usually leaves a secret message. Who is it you're after? This is the Harrison's place, isn't it? Yeah, uh, they live here, yeah. Then I'm after the people that are responsible for my very existence. You are? Mum and Dad. <laughs> Oh, why didn't you say? So there's no one at the inn? No problem. I've got a key your dad asked me to mind. A nice one. Peter, isn't it? It's me. Rod, Rod Corkill. <laughs> hey, look, if you want to come into ours for a sec, I'll find that key for you. Great stuff. Come far? Yeah, Oxford. Hitched yeah. a straight run through this morning. Really lucky. Knackered. I'm more hungry than tired. Oh, well, I'm just having my dinner. Do you fancy a bacon sarnie or something? You sure? Yeah. I've only been here two and a half minutes, and already I'm subject to northern hospitality. Welcome to the promised land. <laughs> Enjoy your cheeseburger, mate. Yeah, I'm full. I don't suppose you want a Kirby bonbon, bon, then, eh? Uh, yes, please. Here you go. And you, Smiler. Hey, do you know why they're called Kirby bonbons? <laughs> it's because we got all the best sweets from Liverpool. <laughs> do we, Dad? Yes. Well, you don't get Cardiff bonbons, do you? Only Kirby ones. I think you've got Everton mints. Get all the best sweets from Liverpool, son. There's Gran and Grandad. Give them a wave, then. Hi, gang. Ready for the castle? Yeah. Oh. Have you had a nice chance to see the city? Yeah. And did you try that place we set for dinner? No, we went to McDonald's. I had a quarter pounder with cheese and large fries. And milkshake. Oh, I see. What? Sorry, Mick. We went to McDonald's for something to eat. It is all right, isn't it? Of course, Mick. Why shouldn't it be? Right, are we all fed and watered? If so, off to the castle! Yeah! Yay. Let's go! <laughs> Do you know something? 
I could stand here all day. Oh, my goodness. Hey, give us a kiss. Thank God for Happy. that. <laughs> all right. Hi. Right, provisions. Have you got any digesters? Are you still over there? Chocolate ones? Yeah. Hey, listen. You got anything on Friday night? Don't know. Oh, yeah. No offers? None that fancy. Right, we'll just keep your dance card free, OK? Why? What's going on? Uh, nose disease. Oh, don't be tight. Spill the beans. Well, you've got customers to serve, haven't you? 72, love, please, thanks. Half term holidays as a kid. Yeah. I don't know. Can't be bad, eh? Wish I was back at school. All that time off. What time off? I've got loads of homework to do. Take the notice, love, you ace at school. Hey, you, I did not. I loved it. Just ate at the teachers. <laughs> it's not but... all clips and funny hats and the cane like it was years ago. Hey, uh, yay! Not that old. Yes, yeah. <laughs> anyway, some teachers you think they're mess, and they turn out to be really cool and dead trendy and that. Our deputy head didn't even pay a poll tax. They had the Baileys round and everything. That Barbara Addison wants. She wants to watch it. If the papers get hold of a story like that... Do you think that sets a good example to a group of pupils? The campaign of civil disobedience? Hey. Well, a senior figure in education actively choosing to flout the law. Couldn't translate that for us, could you, love? I suppose this deputy head thought she was clever, did she? Oh, well, I think she's paid it now, anyway. Uh, that'll be why the furniture come back. The bottle must have gone. And the cough top. Mm. Dilettante. Didn't have the courage of their own convictions. Typical half-hearted liberal approach. We all thought she was a big snob at first. Well, but she must be all right, even if she did pay it in the end. I don't know why she didn't pay it in the first place. It's not as if the skint, is it, mm -hmm. hey? Anyway, see ya. Yeah, it's a lot of... I don't know, see the makeup on that one, the age of her? Oh, shut up, you woman. Oh. This should do me for now. Right, just toss this up for you. Yeah, best I just put up my dad's bill. Sorry? On his tab. The food. Or do you call it tick up here? We call it cash up here, pal. Oh, I'm sorry. I am local. Brookside Close. I'm staying with the Harrisons. I'm Peter, their son. Oh, dear. So, if you could just charge this lot up to John Harrison... No can do. Nobody's allowed credit here. Not even your dad. Shop policy. Cash only. So, cough up. Got change for 50. Leanne? All right, come in. Yeah. Katie's not here, you know. She's gone to her mum's for half term. I know. Huh? Oh, you've forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten? Forgotten what? You promise? To help me with my history project, remember? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot all about it. Well, look what I've got. Huh? Chocolate digestives, eh? Your favourites? Well, one good turn deserves another. Better put the kettle on the night. <laughs> well, I'm starving. I hope Mick's left some scran around. Well, not here, Sweetie's grub. We're here to help him. I know. I wonder how he's getting on. He'll sort it out. He'd be nothing without them kids, you know. I know. What makes people do something like that? I know some grandparents, if it was me, I'd have them done for kidnapping. I think Mick had sat for Leo and Gemma tucked up in bed here where they belong. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing as thrilling as you were planning. Meaning? Oh, nothing, nothing. I just didn't realise Mick had given you the run of the place for, um... You know. Yeah, we're here to tidy up for when Mick brings the kids back. Yeah, he has to keep an eye on the place. You seem to spend more time here than you do in our happy little home. I wonder why that is. She'll have a happy little home of her own soon, with me. We're going to look at a flat over the shops later. <laughs> oh, very nice. But just remember, Marcia, there'll always be a candle in the window at my place. For when yours gets repossessed. How touching. On your way out, are you? Yeah, that's right. You'll miss me when I'm gone. Yeah, especially at the wedding. This castle, son? No, Granddad. The richest man in the world. Really? Really. Dad, Dad, the richest man in the world's Welsh. Would be, wouldn't he? Is that right, son? <sighs> All right, Mick? Yeah. Quite awesome, this London. Knocks your lava buildings into a cocked hat, eh? Not my lava buildings, man.
Right, so basically what you've got to do with this sort of thing is you've got to have an intro, making whatever point you want to make, and then a load of illustrations and examples proving it all. And then you need a conclusion, summing up what you've just proved. Yeah. You've been listening to me? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, what have I just said, then? All of our points and conclusions and that. I think you've OD'd on the chocolate biscuits. Now, oh, come on, concentrate, miss. What's it like knowing you're going to be a dad? What's that got to do with the history of the slave trade? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be nosy. No, a bit scary, I think. Take good, though. And what about Sammy? Does she get that moody? She has her moments. Really? She's sat most of the time, though. Mm. Anyway, come on, back to the slave trade. You don't half know a lot about this, don't you? No more than anyone else. No, nah, you're dead clever. You should go to college or something. It's all point, that. What? Ask a lot of questions, you, don't you? <laughs> Sorry. Don't apologise. Sound of an active mind. Do you think so? Oh, are yeah. Anyway, you get stuff into that. Then I'll go and activate the kettle again. See if we can polish the rest of them bickies off. <laughs> Do any I've got to finish this line, honestly. Says who? Oh, well, there you go, then. I could do with the company. All right, all right. That's more like it. Come in. I do believe there's a can or three in the fridge. Oh, sure. I could do with the first quencher. Nothing like being back in the bosom of your family. Yeah. Especially when they're not here. Sir. Sit down and meet yourself at home. No, oh, thanks. So, you out of work at the moment? Yeah, no, just having a break, like. Me too. Nice long break. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back in a couple of weeks, like. Almost lucky. Yeah. I think I'll just hang around here for a while. So, uh, not much doing down south, is there? Oh, no, it's not that. It'd just be nice to spend some time in a socialist republic for a change. How do you mean? I'm in Liverpool. Home of the hard left. Enemy of all things Canocchio. I think you've been reading too many daft papers, you know. Don't. Oh, no, thanks. You don't do that. Are you trying to tell me this isn't the land of milk and honey after all? No, it's just a place like anywhere else, you know. I mean, we're not all into militants. Some of us prefer footy to politics. Well, that's religion. That's something quite different altogether. You got off your head, you. Sure there's nothing in them ciggies? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't mind if there was, though. Do you know where I could find some stuff? Yeah. No, I don't, Sally. <laughs> oh, it's hard, isn't it? I think you've cracked it, though. Do you reckon? Yeah, it's too right. Hello, man. Hello, love. What's up, no? No, just fancied a chat. This is uh, Leanne, a mate of Katie's. This is me, Mum. Hiya. I was half hoping to catch you on your own. Oh, it's all right. I was just getting off anyway. Been helping with the history project, you know. Huh? It's nice to see you doing somebody's education a bit of good. All right, Mother. Right. Have a go, then. See you, Leon. Thanks, Ellen. Any time. A prezzy. What's this? Have a look. Oh, what's all this, Mum? All the college prospectuses you sent for last year. What am I supposed to do with them now? Read them and choose a course you really want to do. Oh, just like that, eh? Not just like anything. Your dad and I have talked it over, and we can afford to help out a bit more than we thought. And what about Sammy's dad? Huh! After that performance the other night? Well, I don't think his opinion's worth very much to you. No, but Sammy might. If Sammy loves you, she'll want what's best for you. And your dad and I are gonna help you get it, with or without the high and mighty Frank Rogers. Hold on. Afternoon, Mrs. Daniels. I bet you're not still full of that horrible hamburger, are you, young man? No. 
So you've got room for some of my oh. special bun loaf then? Yes, oh. please. <laughs> you love Grand's cakes, don't you? And we love having you here to eat <laughs> them. Don't we, Ben? Of course, yes. And the pair of you can come for cake whenever you like. Do you promise? I promise. Mm. Now then, what's on the agenda for the rest of the day? Any suggestions? I'll tell you what's on the agenda. Trip to Liverpool, the holiday's over. Mick, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. It's just time we're getting home, that's all. But I thought you might like to stay for another day or two. Be told, will you? We're going home. You can eat the picnic and then we'll get on home and get the kids' gear ready. But, Mick... But nothing! We're going home. Now, I want a good look inside the flat first. Especially if Jimmy Corker has been living in it. Oh, come on, he's not as bad as people make out. You know, actually, he's quite clean. And he's definitely getting off. Definitely. Oh, definitely, it's definitely. Well, he's took all his furniture back to Jacqueline's, hasn't he? I don't know. I'll we'll sit when he's back there again next week. Oh, no, I'm only seeing sure it wouldn't, Mass. Yeah, but Jimmy Corker wouldn't win any competitions for reliability, would he? Well, no, I suppose not, no. Oh, look, let's hang on. And if it's still there in a few weeks. Do you want to move in? Maybe. <laughs> All right, mate. What is it we're meant to be looking at, then, eh? Depends. Oh, aye, on what? On whether the cuckoo's fly in the nest or not. You're too clever for me, girl. I'll see you later, OK? Yeah, see ya. All right. Jacqueline, my love. <laughs> Can't get rid of you, can I? No chance. Just finished on the round? Yep. Busy? Ah, uh, you know, so-so enough. Want to make it busier? Hmm. Might do. I'm serious. Well, go on, then. Well, seeing as how you're back in my heart on a full-time basis, I've been thinking of ways to improve our quality of life. Oh, yes. Cool. I'm not joking. I think it's time you tried your hand as a bit of diversification. Don't be daft, Jack. You know I'm C of A. How often do you get your mitts on Ron's cash and carry card? When I want. When the Moby needs stocking. With stuff off Ron Dixon's shopping list. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about us drawing up our own shopping list? Buying stuff wholesale on the card and flogging us off the wagon. You what? I said only just got this job. I thought you wanted a bit of stability. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be robbing nothing off, Ron. Just using your own initiative. The trouble is, my initiative is usually accompanied by a flashing blue light in it. But you wouldn't be doing anybody any harm. And we'd have a few extra bob in our pockets. Unless, of course, you've gone boring on me. Right, uh, better shoot off then, eh? Oh, another can. Well, the back now, aren't he? Who? Your mum and dad. <laughs> but they're supposed to be in Spain. Peter! Yeah, yeah, I thought he was a bagel for a minute, you know. I'm sorry, Ron. Should have told you the Spanish trip was off. That's no, okay. Right then, uh, better shoot off. Ta-da now. You go for a part in the week, eh? Uh, yeah, give us a shout, you know. Yeah, Cheers. Okay, Passa. Where have you been? Around. I see you didn't waste much time in making yourself at home. You know me, Ma. Yes. <laughs> Still haven't kicked that antisocial habit, I see. We will to the end, I'm afraid. Well, if you must do it, do it in the garden. In February. Whenever. <sighs> Finish now, anyway. And next time you use an ash tree. Will do. So what happened to Spania, then? Slight change of plan. Yes, uh, called off at the last minute. Them's the break, eh? Into each life a little rain must fall. I think I'll get a bath before you get any deeper, Mum. We need to discuss a few things first. <sighs> when I'm cleaned up, eh, Dad? Then you can tell me all about life in the pool. Including your notorious little poll tax protest. Hey, Barbara? How did you know? There's no point sitting there worrying. Let's get it out into the open. It's your life. You're my son. What are you scared of? Just don't want to cause any trouble, Mother. Oh, you cause trouble. What about Frank telling you what to do and when to do it? He's just worried about Sammy. Yes, well, we've all got the right to worry about our own fresh and blood, haven't we? Give me, then. What are you doing? Sorting this lot out. I hear this is a very good college. Really? Some great courses there. What's going on? Owen and I are looking at a few colleges. Why? You think of going back to school? No, but my son is. Look, I've just got in from work. Do you know where you go to earn money to support your family? I thought we discussed all that the other night. I think my son's future's worth more than one night's discussion. 
And I think my daughter and our grandchild's future is far more important than your son collecting certificates. If you were really bothered about your daughter's future, you'd understand how important Owen's education was. Don't tell me how bothered I am about my children's future. I've worked every hour God sent so I could provide the best for them, and now it's up to Owen to do the same. The only thing that matters when you've got a wife and kid is that you're bringing home a working wage so that you can clothe and feed them. Now, I learned that lesson the hard way. And I'm sure you cope very well. But Owen's different. How do you make that out? Because we can help. We can give him the chance to build for the future. At real, will you, girl? The dog queues are full of college puddings. Oh, well, if that's your attitude. I'd have been made up for Owen to go to college before, but now, well, I'm sorry, he's got to get his priorities right. But can't we help with those priorities? Look, I'll give those two kids anything, but I'm not going to throw money away on some course that I can spend on my grandchild. Not while I'm living under this roof, anyway. Do you ever listen to anything anyone else says? Excuse me. I am here, you know. Yeah, me, Owen. The one you can't stop arguing about. The husband and father to be, not a six year old kid. It's my future and my wife's. Not yours or his. And we'll decide what's best for our baby, not the gruesome grandparents, all right? The kid's ready. Not quite. But they are packing up. For God's sake, Rachel, you can't keep them here in the lock and key forever. Please, Mick. Well, if you only them back up, I'll do it for them. Mick, what exactly is it you want? We want you to recognise our rights. Your rights? Your rights to what? But my kids? They're not just your children. No, they're your daughters too. And some of the she turned out to be. This isn't about Josie. It's about how much the children mean to Rachel and me. You're right, you know. Josie's let us all down badly. She's failed as a mother and a daughter. But that just makes us want to work as hard to be good grandparents. Nobody's saying that you're bad grandparents. But that's not the point. Can't you see, Mick? We're victims of your marriage breakup, too. You and Josie can argue over your rights to see them and when. But we just don't have any say. And we're worried how we're going to cope by. Single parent. Full-time job, working long hours. I get by. Don't you think your kids and our grandkids deserve better than just to get by? Yes, but... And that's why we brought them down here. Not because we think bad of you, but because we love them. And we want to see more of them and give them some form of stability. Look, I appreciate all that you're saying. But they're still my kids. And we've already got a family home. We understand that, Mick. I mean, there's no problem about seeing more of them, if that's what you want. You can come up any time. I'd even be glad of the company. So you'll stay? For a couple of days, at least? I don't know, Rachel. Uh, I should be getting back. For us? And Leo and Gemma? Yeah. OK. Bit of washing to sort out there. I'll do it later. Now uh, you're a star, Ma. So, what about these poll tax rumours, then? All true. Storm in the barricades at last, eh? Look, everything isn't funny. It's not a big joke, you know. Yeah, sure, Dad, I know that. Yes, but do you know where we've been this afternoon? Not offhand, no. The solicitors, there's a chance that your father's going to be prosecuted for fraud. Fraud? You? You are joking, aren't you? Do I look like Russ Abbott? Uh, fraud against who? Her Majesty's Customs and Excise. How? It started by being dragged off an aeroplane and went downhill from there. And we were hoping you might be able to throw some light on a few things for us. Oh, legal stuff. Yeah, I've got a few old mates I could find. No, no. It's about your Uncle Hugh. He's implicated as well. It's all to do with a sell-off of the company. Hugh? What's that got to do with me? Well, you see a lot more of him than we do. You're always going over to Spain. I thought perhaps he might have said something. Well, not to me. Can you get in touch with him for us? <laughs> I'll have a go. But he can be pretty elusive when he wants to be. Don't I know it. I'm feeling really shattered. I'm going to have a lie down. Are you sure there's nothing? What do you think, Ma? I'm worried about your father. I don't want this mess making him ill. Are you guilty? No. 
So you can live with yourselves. That's all that matters. Tell that to the vat man. Adam's worried about his newest rival for the Iron Man competition in Home and Away after the break. Cruise, Dad. You're gonna laugh. I've had a couple of wins this year. A pocket calculator and a vegetable steamer. The competition king. It's an interest. And have you anything planned for what little remains of the day? Yeah, I'm off to the trade union centre. On uh, on Hardman Street. Any idea where it is? Have a look in the A to Z. Didn't take you long to go in search of fellow travellers, did it? Well, you don't go to a church and they're not bothered praying, do you? Is that the only reason why you're up here? To pay homage to the town hall tyrants? And to nestle in the warm glow of my loving parents, eh? Peter. Starved to affection, that's me. If you starve, it's because you can't be bothered to go and get yourself a proper job. Oh, outrageous! Don't start, you two. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right, I better be going. What's like that? My Hugo Boss suits and the wash mark. You look as if you haven't got two pennies to rub together. I knew there was something else. How much? Fifteen? Maybe twenty? I thought you didn't believe in charities. From the exception that proves the rule. I don't know. <laughs> Nearly twenty years of a good education, and for what? An honours degree in chief. But you love me, really. <sighs> Thanks, Mum. And when can we expect you home? Whenever. And how long are you planning to grace us with your presence, then? Don't worry, Dad. I'll be out of your hair soon. I'm off to Spain next week. See you later. Yes, bye. What? Mum, what a surprise. You OK, love? Same as I was when you were last there. About five minutes ago, wasn't it? On your own? No, Sammy's half hours hiding behind the corner with a meat cleaver. No need for sarcasm. Do you want a drink? No, I can't stop. I've just come for a quick chat. Oh, really? What would that be about? College? My future? Owen. Oh, have you put your unborn grandchild's name down for eating? If you joke about your own future, how can you expect anyone else to treat it? No, I'm not laughing, Matt. No, I know. Who would live in with Frank Rogers? Oh, come on, he's not that bad. He cares. I'm sure he does. But that doesn't mean he knows what's best for you. I can decide what's best for me, Mum. What is, then? I don't know. Well, me and your father do. Your best chance is to get that brain into gear. Frank, Sammy and the baby, they'll all thank you for it in the long run. Come to a course, ma'am. I've got a wife and child to suppose, haven't I? And you did what Sammy's dad said. He's having none of it. And it is his house we're living in. Now, if he can't get his head round me going to college, well, I've got no other option than just to accept it. Just give up. Just get on with it. Oh, forget about Frank Rogers. Go back to college and come and live with us. What? Well, you're living in one parent's house. Why not come and live in another? You mean, me and Sammy with you and me dad? Why not? No one would tell you what you could and couldn't do with your life then, would they? See you soon. Yeah. See you, ma'am. Come in, love. Oh, in it's your little pupil. 
Is Katie in? Bye. See ya. Is she not in? Um, no, she's not back from her mum's yet. She's due in a bit later, though. Mm. You can wait if you want. Mm, great, huh? Did you get sorted? Yeah, I got a full tank there now. Oh, good. Cold out. Oh, it's depressing. Coffee, Mick? Uh, no thanks, Ben. We better get off. Got a long drive ahead. Oh, all right. Well, what's up? Oh, nothing. Rachel decided to give the kids a, a bath or so. But she knew we were ready to go. Well, it won't do any harm. No. Saves you a job when you get home, me. Eh? Oh, so, how about that coffee then? Might as well. Good. Cheers. Thanks for that, Anne. Good of you. Bye. What are you up to? Can you tell me in 12 words or less what makes this mushroom soup stand out from all the rest? It's got no label? I know that. It's got the competition on it. I'm just stuck for a slogan. Oh, don't ask me. I'm really not in the mood. Well, life goes on and all that. Yes, I suppose so. Who was on the phone, then? Anne Murgatroyd from school. There's been a rumour that the head could be moving on. Really? Hmm. Quite a concrete rumour, in fact. Meaning that opportunities for deputy heads could be taking a sudden turn for the better? Yes. Until the word gets about that I've been struck down by a nasty case of fraud. Well, hopefully it'll all be sorted out by then. Mm. Hopefully isn't enough, though, is it? No. We've got to make sure it's sorted out. Yes. And if that means sorting out your brother, then so be it. Perhaps Peter's the answer. He was going over there to see him. Mm, I just hope Peter isn't part of the problem. Yes, I was wondering about that. All these trips to Spain. He's very much the favourite nephew at the moment. If Hugh's got him involved in anything, you know. Now, there's no point in speculation. We've got enough worries as it is. We can't leave the country. Peter can. So, our only real hope's our son. I bet that's more interesting reading than this. It's all adverts. Yeah, and articles about uh, stuff. Mm. More like? Well, them questionnaires, aren't they? You mean on sex? Yeah. Should have an exit if it's on it, though. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah. That's to keep your man happy in bed. Should just do it on you, but just change the man for girl, eh? Um. Right. Your man, mm. your girl, comes home from work and asks for a massage. Do you A, give her a quick neck rub? B, tell her to go to the local massage parlour? Or C, open a bottle of mulled wine and give her the all over treatment? Um. What's mulled wine? I don't know. If it was me, I'd give you the bottle of wine and the all over treatment. I like Katie. All right. And what are you doing here? I thought you'd be back. Owen's been keeping me company anyway. Yeah. We've been doing a questionnaire. Oh, I see. Right, well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Gorgeous. Get lost, will you? Them eyes. Only gonna ask me if I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yeah, great. How's your mum? Oh, fine. She's got loads of new mates and that now. So? I've got a new mate and all. Who? A very special mate. What are you on about? Owen. What? Me and Owen. Well, Leanne, that's not funny. I came round the other day and he helped me with my project. Well, what do you mean you came round? And then this morning this came in the post. Related Valentine wishes to Leanne. All my love and kisses. Oh. Told ya. Nah, you don't tell yourself. If I was gonna do that, I'd have sent one to arrive on time. No, I don't believe it. <sighs> it's all there in black and white. He loves me. It's some kind of wind up, isn't it? Oh, should we ask going if it's some kind of wind up? No, don't be stupid. <sighs> Is that honestly his handwriting? I saw it when I was doing my project. Oh, it's gotta be a joke. No. He's serious. And so am I. Shut up, will you? You're talking about my sister's husband. Well, I didn't ask him to send me Valley. He's going to be a father in a couple of months. Not my fault. Oh, well, God, put that away, will you? This is mad. What's it if you think he's doing? Oh, wait your turn there, champ. 
Say goodbye to your grandma, grandma first. Bye -bye, no, you promised to write me a letter in school, Leo. Don't forget. I will. And you'll phone as soon as you get home, won't you? Yeah? There's no child seat. Just leave it. Just leave it. Right, here we are then. Right then. Safe journey. Thanks. Please do phone when you get home. Well, if it's not too late. Whatever time. It makes not too tired. Well, it'll be off then. Look, um, I'd like to try and forget that any of this trouble ever happened. You're welcome to see the kids whenever you like. They love having you around. And I'll try and get down more often. We'll work it out. Thanks a lot, Bert. Take care, look. You're gonna wait till yes. They'll be all right, love. <laughs> Love your pop, don't you? Oh, it's thirsty work collecting window money, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, am I boring you? Oh, no. <laughs> it's been a long day. Ah, well, you're nearly finished. Yeah. Jimmy said he'd pick me up. Aren't I lucky, eh? Getting a lift home in his Moby. Yeah, you certainly are. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Jack. Yeah, it's true. God almighty! Search me. Afternoon, all. What's going on? You knocked off yet, love? No. Where did this come from? Listen, you were the one that called me Rockefeller. Who's your mate, Jim? That is our chauffeur for the night. What? Ready to take us to heaven and back. <laughs> Are you drunk? Only on romance, love. Jimmy, for once in your life, will you try and make sense? All right, listen. We are spending the evening at an extremely plush hotel in the bridal suite. Uh, I'm no plush and bride. Tonight you are. Look, the running a Valentine's fortnight. Free meal, all the trimmings, right? A third off the room, newlyweds only. Oh, I saw that advert in the paper. I will say. I'm a bargain bride. Oh, come on, Jackie. I've laid all this on for you, haven't I? Yeah, I suppose so. Right, so all you got to do is pretend to be married and we're quids in for the night. Oh, is that all? Yeah, it's easy, look. Yeah. Out there. Is it? Wouldn't know, I haven't been able to do it. Lucky you. Any sign of your dad? No, well, he did save me back late, didn't he? Your mum came round again today. <laughs> again? We'll have to start charging her rent. She's entitled to visit me, isn't she? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't want to come between a mother and the apple of her eye now, would we? That's not funny. She only cares. I know, Owen, but I mean, your mum hasn't got the monopoly on it, has she? No, neither's your Al fella. Oh, well, and it isn't a competition, you know. Not a competition? You wouldn't think so, the way your half fella kicked off on me mum the other day. She'd give it as good as she got, if not better. Someone's got to stand up to him. Wow. Oh, nothing. Look, Owen, if it's going to cause this much trouble, well, from now on, we'll keep them apart. If we want to go and see your mum and dad, we'll just go round to theirs. I mean, it'll be better all round, won't it? Well, actually, that was one of the reasons why she came round. You know, about us going to hers. Well, there you go. She reckons if your half fella's not happy about what I want to do, I mean, you should think about getting off. No, I yet were. She wants us to go and live with her. I'm just walking down to the bus stop. I'll put the tea on. See you then. Yeah, see you, Lee. James. 
Trust me. Why don't you have a rest, love? I just want to check these first. Oh, some of these are from five, six years ago. You can't go through it all. I wouldn't know what to do if I found anything anyway. If you want to do something really useful, you can sort through your son's filthy laundry for me. I thought he was going to do it himself. Must have changed his mind, you know, Peter. Yes, unfortunately. John? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Compliments of the hotel, sir. Yeah? Oh, nice one. Champagne. <laughs> and we hope your first night of marriage will prove to be a pleasant occasion. Oh, uh, you're not kidding. Jimmy. Thanks very much, love. You're welcome. Has your day run smoothly? Sorry? The ceremony. Uh, yeah, sound. And uh, where did you hold your reception, if you don't mind me asking? Um, oh, well, uh, it was just a small do, wasn't it, love? Yeah, tiny. Uh, we just, you know, had a quiet drink down at the club and that, you know. A select gathering. Yeah, yeah. very. Well, uh, I hope your evening here lives up to the rest of the day. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Liar of the year, or what? Yeah, well, just you keep it up. Don't get too cocky. Huh? Me, cocky, behave, will ya? Hey, I'll tell you what. This is the life, isn't it, eh, kid? Yeah, lovely. Almost enough for you to declare your undying love to me again, or what? Nearly, but not quite. No? Not yet, love boy. What are you doing? Well, it's all this talk about newlyweds. If we're starting over, I want to be prepared. So? So? I'm taking notes for a new marriage contract. Clause one, all finances to be controlled by yours truly. Clause oh. two, all betting activities to be vetted by yours truly. Yeah, go on then, what's clause three? Follow one and two or you won't get your clause into me. That's funny, isn't it, eh? Didn't know I was being courted by a Philadelphia lawyer. Flaming hell! What? I... What? What are they doing here? He'll be done in a minute. Talk to me, please, Sammy. Yeah, I'm doing. You know what I mean? No, I don't. will not you at least consider it? Consider what? You were quite happy to live here until your mum stuck her nose in. No one's sticking the nose in. She's just made a suggestion, that's all. It sounds more like an order to me. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Oh, and well, what's that supposed to mean? When it comes to handing out the orders, your half will take some beating, doesn't he? That's a load of garbage and you know it. Is it? So how come a grown man, yet me, can't even decide for myself if I want to go to college or not? You weren't even bothered about college until your mum opened a gob. Oh, do you know I wasn't, eh? I might have been bottling it all up inside me so as not to upset you. Are you stupid, then? Yeah, I am, aren't I? Stupid for taking orders off someone else's half, fella. What? You've got a right cheek, you have. When me dad said we could live here, you were that made up, you crawled well, off that was to... then, wasn't it? How ungrateful can you get? My dad hasn't complained once about us living here. I mean, we're practically taking over his house. We'll give him it back, then. Oh, what? To go and live with your parents? No chance. Hey, you, what's wrong with my parents? <sighs> Nothing. At least they want to help me try and build a better future. Oh, try and build a better future? I noticed you haven't asked me once about this precious future. Of course I have. No, you haven't. Not once throughout this whole argument have you turned around to me and said, Sam, what do you think I should do? Well, what do you think I should do, then? Well, I think me dad's right. You've got a wife and a baby on the way, and you can't just swan off on some course cos you feel like it. But what about... But nothing, Owen. And if you think I'm going to dump me dad after all he's done for us and after all he's been through with me mum leaving him, well, I'm afraid you've got another thing coming. If they'd seen us, they'd have come over. Yeah, well, I still want to know what they're doing here. Are you ready to order, sir? You ready, then? <laughs> oh, don't start laughing. Come on, you're oh, yeah, Come on, help it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, right. <laughs> you're okay, then? Deep breath. <sighs> Go on, then. Ready? And uh, the Dover soul for me main, please. Now, do you believe me? Hello, Mars. Don't you mask me. 
I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Is this your idea of a joke, Jim? Can I help you, sir? Only if you can rebuild shattered lives. Sorry, sir. Why, Jackie? What's the matter, Simbad? Would sir and madam like to take a seat? With these two? What are you playing at, eh? Following us here? Do you mean what are we doing here? If sir has a problem... Too right, sir, has a problem. I'm sorry if you're upset, sir, but we have two guests here, two newlyweds, who would like to share their first evening meal together as man and wife. Surely any dispute can wait. <sighs> man and wife! What a joke! Sir, madam, please! Look at the state of them! The man and wife, all right. He's my man. And she's my wife. <laughs> Behave, with you? Oh, Take the notice of him. He's talking soft. He's bevied. Sir, please, we do have other guests to think of. Whatever marital arrangements or disputes you may have, could you please deal with them in private? Oh, it's all right for you to say is that it's not your marriage that's in tatters. <laughs> that's right. Go on. All have a good laugh. I suppose you've all got nice beds and nice houses to go to. Or have some of you left husbands and wives at home and all? Right. That's it. I've had enough of this. Hang on, Jackie. Simbad, this is not funny. Jackie! Jackie! Did you? Do you reckon we went too far? I don't know. Nah. <laughs> I hope Jimmy still got a sense of humour. Yeah, so do I, otherwise I'm a dead man. Hey, it was worth it, though, wasn't it, to see the look on his gob? Mm. Pity about the old uh, bridal suite going to waste, though, isn't it? Why's that? I've got the key card. What? They left it on the table as they went out. So, um. So I think it's about time you and me practised at being newlyweds. You what? We are getting hitched. Well, you don't take your driving test without taking a few lessons first, do you? No, no, I suppose you don't, do you? No. <laughs> Mr and Mrs Corkhill. Tar. Hiya. What a day. Is he? There's some characters in that place. Tired? Not too bad. Only your mother and I were thinking. Do you fancy a game of something? I'm easy. How about Monopoly? Not too ideologically sound, that, Ma. Going through someone's stuff. I was sorting your washing out. <sighs> Knew I should have done it myself. There's thousands here, lad. And yet you still scrounge 20 pounds off your mother? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? You turn up looking like Steptoe, but with a bag full of banknotes hidden away. What do you mean, nothing? Honest, Ma. Look, you. Where's this money come from? Is it dirty or what? Calm down, Dad. You'll bring on an asthma attack. Is it drug money? Oh, you credit me with being a hell of a lot more ruthless than I could ever be. For God's sake, Peter, will you stop being so bloody laid back? Don't you understand our situation? We could be prosecuted for fraud. And then you turn up with a mysterious stash of money and expect us not to bat an eyelid. Sorry, Ma, but how was I to know things had got so heavy? I only came to say hello. With all this on you? It's not my money. I'm looking after it for someone. Who? I'm taking it to Spain next week. It's Uncle Hughes. What? You're not taking it anywhere. I am. I'm responsible for its safekeeping. You don't know the meaning of the word responsibility. Give it to me. For God's sake, Dad. What the hell's going on? I've told you. It's your brother's money, and I'm taking it to Spain for him. End of story. Fisher has reached rock bottom, and the last thing he needs is to be abandoned by Viv in Home and Away. Next. <laughs> 